All right, we're back from Cocoa Beach. I got this cool t-shirt. Uh, we left off, we were on the uh, Steam Deck. Let's get back into it, take a look. So last when we looked at this, we saw we had the uh, power button, just wasn't making contact. It's got all this play in here before it actually makes contact with the switch. So here's our physical switch. If we push on this thing, it's really tough. And it looks like that switch is really flexing in there, doesn't it? Yeah, the whole sheet metal flexes. This is what I do not like about these perpendicular designs like this you're, you're putting all this backward force on this switch and it can't stop this is why they get ripped off the board they wind up getting pushed too hard Let's see if we can't wick this out of these i mean what is going on with all that What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, UV epoxy on the end of this button. What I've done is I put a little drop of UV epoxy on there. Try and build that surface up a hair. One more drop for good luck. A little bit more with the UV. Let's see what we got. To get this in place, if you nose this down, the USB-C port can get into its slot just like that. Now at this point, we should be able to see how we did with that clearance in there. Are we not down? Oh yeah, we're not down. What's holding me up? Oh, see how we're tight on that button now?
All right, let's get some of this back into place here. Here we get a fan. These two screws are going to be for our shield. This is our screen connector. And we've got these two fun antenna ones buried under. I don't even know what they got going on here. Heavy cover. All right, put those in. A very small heat sink there. Now this is going to be the screw that came off with the shield. And this is going to be another one with a big, large head on it. Okay. So at this point, I think we can plug this battery in. And give this a test. See if we worked. And there was a tone. I did this last time too. I'm supposed to hold this thing? Toned again. Did I leave something off? Uh oh. Oh, I know what I did wrong, you dummy. All right. It would help if I put the drive back in. All right, let's try this once more. 
grows the tone. And we're booting in. That butt feels much better now. So it really is just all that lack of a good position. So if you find yourself where you, you know, could shove shove paper in there or some kind of shim in there, probably a much easier fix. I was really trying to do some investigation and find out a little bit more. Okay. What does it say? Sleep. Oh, now I got to figure out how to use it. Shut down. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. Let's get this guy buttoned up. These are our middle screws, these two, and then our outer screws. <clears throat> so all we need is the one back in here. This back here. This one in this corner. Let's hold the shield and that motherboard down. And these are the ones they talk about when you're, you loosen these up and push that board. But I tried that. There was no way you were going to push that board into place. That switch was just too far offset to work like that. We got everything. And short and long screws. It almost felt like it didn't want to snap in. It takes a pretty good snap. There we go. That's gorgeous. Now we got left is our shorts and longs. Right in the middle here. And four short screws. And we saw right where they went in the board. So if you get them wrong, I don't think you're going to go very far with them. I don't think you're going to get log screw damage. And let's not forget this SD card.
All right, what do you say? Boy, this thing is big. Let's give it one last try. We hear the tone. See the boot logo. And that looks good. Power off. Shut down. Confirm. All right, well, that was kind of fun. <clears throat> this is would have rather had a brand new switch to put in there. Um, but we'll send it back to the customer and we'll hear back on, on how he feels with it. So once again, like, subscribe. See you next time.